Hi, my name is Richard Kuby, and I'm a fellowship trained spine surgeon in Peoria, Illinois, and my practice is Prairie Spine and Pain Institute. Moby C was something that I found out about at one of the spine conventions here a few years ago, and of course, been reading literature. And uh, in general, it's been something that I've been looking forward to having. We very earnestly consider the patient as our customer and trying to provide them the absolute best type of opportunity that we can. And so part of that is new technology. When we knew and learned that the MOBC did gain its FDA approval, uh, we did uh, take some effort to make sure that we were in the first training group. MOBC was interesting in that uh, it was a, more of a second generation type of device versus what I had been using. In general, I liked the idea of the translational aspect of the core. I felt that might, uh, since we do have some translation in the biomechanics of the spine in that region, it would be helpful to have something that mimicked the anatomy and the biomechanics more closely. With a patient, I typically try and just let them know that this is the latest or second generation, if you will, type of implant, where a lot of the implants that we've used in the past are quite good. We've had excellent results with those. But the results that we're seeing, or and hope to see, as I begin implanting more of these will be even better. Certainly the literature with the MOBC, very much like a lot of the other implants, is showing that there's a much lower reoperation rate as time passes than with fusion. So uh, if the patient is a good candidate, if we can restore their motion with a disc replacement, then I tend to push more towards that given the fact that their chances of needing an additional surgery in the future are greatly diminished. Since we started doing these at the end of August, we've had one patient now already coming to our office specifically inquiring about the MOBC implant and their interest was the two-level indication that now MOBC has being able to show them that a two-level disc replacement is not only safe but even better than what we were doing with the fusions in the past is something that they would be looking for. From a surgeon's perspective, it was a much easier implant to be able to place because of the less amount of bony work and things that we had to do. And of course, with that, uh, the procedure was uh, just much more forgiving to be able to place the implant and get it in a position where you would like to have an ideal uh, fit and an ideal position so that the biomechanics work well. But I've been very happy with how much uh, friendlier the device is and the setup and the tools and everything to be able to provide that type of procedure to the patients and I think as we are seeing patients in follow-up they've been very happy with the results that they've been getting thus far as well.